burn them down the track. What fun. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week I'm at the legendary Beach Bend Raceway in Bowling Green, Kentucky for the 20th Supercar Reunion. Believe it or not, I shot the very first one 20 years ago. This is incredible. There's everything here. And if the weather holds off, they're going to burn them down the track. Let's hope the weather holds off. Yeah! Tom, it is great to see you again, man. Great to see you, Dennis. You know, I met you 20 years ago at the first one of these supercar reunions. It's actually called the Yanko reunion. Yes, then, it right? was. And we changed it to supercar reunion because it, it was other supercars besides Yanko's. That's right. So everybody gets to play. Yes, absolutely. So, so that was in uh, Hendersonville, Tennessee. Yes. You know, it was a gathering. You had a Yanko. The guy that kind of hosted it had a Yanko. Right. Did you think it would go 20 years? Absolutely not. I mean, uh, it was going to be one, and every year people say you're going to do it Another again. <laughs> and I said, if you'll come back, we'll do it again. And here we are 20 years later. It's awesome to see you guys bring these out and race them. Because, I mean, they were built to be racers. They were race, but they were everyday drivers, too. But mm -hmm. absolutely, they were driven. They are driven hard. Yeah. A lot of street racing. Yeah. yeah, that's what they were built for. Yes, they were. So. So 20 years running, this is my third time doing this. Right. You know, you, you bring it to Beach Bend, which is a historic, legendary right. place. Weather, not so much cooperating. You're gonna get a few yeah. passes, but yeah. I don't know if you'll get the whole right. day. But then what do you, after this, what, you take them all to the museum. I mean, we're here in Bowling Green, so the Corvette right. Museum's here. Right, tomorrow we open to the public where the public can come to the Corvette Museum and look at the Corvettes, the hole in the floor, and look at the supercars. <laughs> yeah. That's just so cool. Well, what you're doing is, is wonderful. I, I never would have believed it 20 years ago yep. that either one of us would still be doing yeah. it. But we both are. Absolutely. How it, cool is that? And you know, and to me, the memories, I've seen cars that I only dreamed about. And yeah. to see them go down the drag strip is a bonus. Even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, you know, let's, let's get around and look at a few of these. I know they're heading to the museum here sometime today, but before they get them all out of the lot, let's go look at them. You betcha. All right, man. You betcha. Ken, this is a piece of history. Actually, you're a piece of history. <laughs> That's what some people say. <laughs> Ken Barnhart, this is a real deal 69 ZL1 car that you campaigned back then and in fact won the 70 Nationals. Is that yes, right? Yes. And it's, it's the same car. I bought it from Fred Gibb in 1969, May 8th, and I've owned it, campaigned ever it ever since. That, ever is, since. that is amazing. Well, now, that wasn't even your first rodeo. You've been drag racing since. Uh, 1954. What were you running in 54? 1954, I had a 51, 51 Mercury four-door sedan that I ran. It was my family car, and I ran it in stock class. <laughs> Tell me about this car, because I mean, the 69 ZL1 really is truly a supercar. You're still sporting the, the graphics that you ran with? All the black accenting on the car, and the lettering, the name in the car, and my name on the car, that's all been on there since the, 1969. How about that fade paint there on the spoiler? That's all been there. Decal that's on the spoiler that says in tribute to Fred Gibb and right. Vince Piggins. They were instrumental in these cars being built. Oh, absolutely. Well, hey, can we look at the engine of this monster? Just a second, I'm coming. All right. <laughs> well, you even got uh, engraved heads. Ken Barnhart <laughs> autograph series. <laughs> well, ironically, those weren't set up that way for this car. I had those for a 66 Chevelle I had. A customer at my service station that was a machinist, and he said, give me your valve covers, and I'm going to put your name on them. So, so those valve covers fit the, the 396 and the, the 427? Yeah. Same thing. So what all is special about a ZL1 engine? Well, basically, it starts out with the fact that it's a total aluminum engine. The aluminum whole thing. block I mean, and cylinder heads and intake manifold. And how many? I mean, they only did 69. 
right? Or how many? They only built 69. The deal with Fred Gibb were to build 50 cars, and uh, other guys found out what that Copo ordering number was, and there were 19 more cars that ended up getting so built. So yeah, they got snuck in on, snuck an order in basically. Yeah. So then you, I'm sure, went on to build this, beef this up because they came with plenty of punch to begin right. with. Right. What were they rated at? General Motors said 430. Uh huh. But then we blueprinted the engine, changed the cam and the rocker arms which was allowed in super stock, and NHRA bumped the horsepower rating up to 480. With these cars, we ended up right at the top of the super like, stock B class, you know. What a piece of history, the car and you, what a life you've had in, in drag racing. Well, it's got a, it must have been a blast. Back in the day when I built this, you could set up a car, very nominal fees, and go out and have a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Now to do the same thing, you have to spend so much money. You have to have a backer have a backer, have yeah. a big crew, yeah. and it costs a lot more money, and to me, that's not, it, the fun is gone. Yeah, it was, a, it was a true uh, hobbyist sport, really, in the beginning, because you built a car and you ran a car, you know? A lot of times you drove them to you the track, you ran it, and you drove it home. You, you built the car to be the fastest that it could be, Yeah. and you drove the car to be the best driver that you could be with that combination, and that's, early on, that was, that was my success. That's the car, that's the man, Ken? 69 ZL1 Camaro, 1970 Nationals winner. You're my hero. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Cool. Thank you. Well, Ken, this is a kind of a, I, I would say it's a damp deuce. It wouldn't is. you? Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> this is a 71? It's a 70. It's a 70. The okay. 70 was bought in 71. It was a, it was a holdover. I had, had owned a, a 1970 L78, unfortunately had an accident and totaled the car. And um, had seen, you know, in, in prior months where they had actually gotten a transport, what I thought was a transport load of these at Cedar Rapids. We were looking for something else that would go fast and you know, we decided to go up to Cedar Rapids see if they had any left. The truth of the matter was they didn't get a transport load, they only got two. They had a Gobi <laughs> Beige Automatic and they had this one. What was the and list on it in 70? The lists were 4685. Man, that was, that was a lot of money. It was a lot of money. You could buy an LS6 Chevelle for uh, that kind of money, and uh, you had a lot more than bench seats and uh, rubber mat floor. Yeah, and this was only yeah. a Nova, right? Yeah, it's only it's, a Nova. It's only a Nova, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, unless you knew what it was, people couldn't understand why they were so expensive. And so this is, I mean, this is how she came, even that, that hood tack, right? Mm -hmm. The Yanko Deuce is a 350 car. Mm -hmm. It's an LT1 350. They were already fighting the fight over uh, insurance, you know, insurance and, yep, and gas yep, yep. prices and things like that. Well, but, now you've uh, redone this car, right? I mean, no, this you're is, kidding. This, this is, is the original. This is the original paint. See the original, original stripes. Car. Original stripes. Oh, man. That's why they look kind of shrunk up. This is the only one in existence that actually has the stripes correct. Wow. Somewhere along the line, somebody put them on differently. So it's a one of one with the stripe. Wow. You know, I so can't. I tell everybody else that there's a wrong. <laughs> so it's original interior too. Original, original interior. It's all and, original interior. And her shifter came with it? That shifter is a 68 GTO bench seat shifter. Uh, her shifter didn't fit in, in, in there real well from the factory. Right. Yeah. Now the, the Yanko Deuce on the door panels was? That came that way. Now was this the only year for that kind of stripe yeah. design? Yeah, that's the only year. You know, the first 125 were produced at Yanko Chevrolet. Uh, they came in and they changed out the wheels. They put the, um, the Magnum wheels on and they striped them up there. This is one of the last 50. There was two orders. The first batch was 125, the second batch was 50. Let's go look at that LT1. It's a solid lifter engine? 350 solid lifter motor, uh, rated at 360 horse. It says 350 turbo fire, yeah. and there's no horsepower rating on yeah. it. Yeah, I, was, I noticed okay. that as soon as we opened it. And, and the reason why was because he didn't want the insurance companies or anybody else to know that that was a 360 horse engine. So I mean, <laughs> you know, and, 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 I mean this is a non-SS car. Right, right. You know, so this thing probably you didn't pay much for the insurance. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't pay much for the insurance because you know your insurance company didn't know what a Yanko was. Most of them didn't. And maybe if you got on the West Coast or East Coast, it's only a Nova. It's just a Nova with a 350 in it. You know, to have one of these when you were 19 was a lot of fun. You know, in 1970, 71. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool, yeah, man. Every stoplight was a drag race. <laughs> so 1970 Yanko Deuce, beautiful. Yeah. Ken, thanks for bringing it out, man. Yeah. 
Well, Andy, this is probably the only Ford here. Is that true? I think it probably is going to be. I haven't seen anything else here yet. It's a 69 Fairlane 500? A 69 Fairlane Cobra. The R model car has an R in the VIN number, which designates the 428. The R codes. Yeah, the R yeah. code cars. I mean, everybody, when you think of supercars, I mean, it's just the Yankos and, the, and, and right. Baldwin Motions and stuff like that. Right. You don't think a lot about the Fords, but Ford was running back then. and. Ford did a lot of stuff even before that, all the way back to the 63 lightweight yeah. galaxies, right. the 64 Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts. Yeah, Those yeah. were all specifically designed for performance and for racing. Boss 429s. Yep. So pretty much anything with the R code motor, especially in the Fairlane Cobra, was, was a high biz. performance. Yeah. Exactly. Right, right. It wasn't your daily drive. <laughs> so you've basically created a tribute, right? Yes. This is a tribute car to the 1969 Ford drag team that was. Uh, a combination of Hubert Platt and Randy Payne. Uh -huh. They had the Torino and they had a 69 super stock Mustang that was painted up just like it and a 1969 Ford cab over truck. And they traveled all over the country doing seminars at Ford dealerships during the day and then they raced NHRA and match races nights and weekends. So, so. you tried to make this I mean, it's been a race car its whole life, but you right. tried to do the tweaks you needed to do to make right. it the Platt and Payne car. Yeah, right? tore it completely back down and started over and put it all back together. Uh, tried to duplicate the paint schemes, the lettering, the striping, and all that stuff to get it back the way it was. I also have the 69 Mustang that is the twin to the car that Hubert would have driven. Uh, uh -huh. It's also a tribute car, and he actually got to make a pass in that about three years ago wow. out in Beaver Springs. And is this what the interior was? I mean, of course, no back seat, roll cage. I believe the original Fairlane Cobra when Randy drove it was a four-speed, and this one's been a C6 automatic. And uh, it was originally a maroon interior. Ooh. So they were driving a blue car and it still had the maroon bucket seats. <laughs> you can see it in the pictures. So, you know, in a pretty aerodynamic yep. body, all the graphics and stuff. And then back here, you even say it's a tribute. Yep. I don't want to mislead anybody thinking it's the original one. Uh, Randy tracked the original car down a few years back and found the last owner he believes, and that guy had it crushed. Oh. So it's gone, uh -huh. never, never to be found. So 428, right? 428 Cobra Let's Jet. Let's go look at the 428. Well, oh, Ford Blue. On the block. Nothing uh, fancy about it all. It's all built to uh, current NHRA stock eliminator specs with the uh, cast iron heads, cast iron intake. 1969 Holly with Ford part number stamped on it, carburetor. Wow. Everything's legal, so if I wanted to, I could go out and race NHRA stock now, this eliminator. Was, this was a solid lifter engine, is that yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Solid lifter, flat tap it cam, so it's still old school. Uh -huh. None of the fancy new stuff. But it still gets up and goes. It does okay. So this yeah. is great. So it's a it's a 69 Fairlane Cobra. Correct. A tribute car, but been a race car since 70. Yeah, absolutely. Andy, what a great car, man. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Well, Brian, this is, a, this is a real pretty car. Rally green, right? Rally green. Rally green. And I'm a green car guy. Yes. <laughs> so this is a 72 yep. uh, Yanko Nova. Correct. It's actually, it's, it's, a, it's a tribute. It's a tribute, right? I mean, you're a Yanko guy. You've had Yankos before. Yes. And you're, I mean, you really like them to the point of, it's in my blood. That, it is now. Officially, <laughs> that, it is. That's a commitment, man. <laughs> but you've had this for a long, long time, right? Uh, going on 32 years. Man. It's my first car. Did you have to do quarters and everything? Or? Um, we saved the quarters and, and we put, uh, you know, basically like a, a patch over for the wheel wells right. to stretch them because we had to for anyway, the tires. Uh -huh. But um, pretty much wow. original. Well, and you've, uh, you know, you're obviously racing this thing because you've got her all built inside. Yeah, I want to make sure that uh, I know what's going on. I got all the little creature features, all my gauges to tell me what, what she's doing under there. And, now uh, this looks like carbon fibers. It's just that's just the look. Right? Yeah, that's just the look. You know, just so we don't scratch her up and try to yeah. keep her nice. I heard it, and it it sounds really strong. <laughs> yeah, well, a little over 800 horse on the motor, just as motor without the nitrous. Yeah, she's she's a handful. When you do this, I mean, you can basically get all the decal packages and everything now, right? Yeah, well, those are actually real. Those are real Yanko, Yanko stripes because wow. they have the seam in them like they did back in the day. Right, right. So, I mean, I, I made sure I was trying to be as, as purist as possible. Well, the tradition for Yankos were 427 engines. Yes. Let's go look at that. We can do that. Let's see what we got under here. Oh, it's under there. Oh, it's pretty too. Yeah, yeah she's got to be pretty. <laughs> got to be pretty. <laughs> wow. Where'd the engine come from? Actually, that motor is actually 20 years old, and it was my brother's motor he was building for a Camaro convertible, and we decided to put it in here. So, what kind of times can you turn? <sighs> well, the car is all steel, all original glass, so she's not a lightweight. It's not a lightweight. It's not right? a lightweight. The car was built for the street, and I wanted to drive the car on the street, and that's what I do. I drive it on the street. 
I can hope for low tens, high nines. You know, that's plenty respectable. Yeah, that's plenty respectable. <laughs> Have you done the supercar reunions before? I've been to uh, the start of it since 1998. Well, guess what? I was there too. That's right. <laughs> In fact, that's where we first met. Yes. What, was a mere 20 years ago. Mere. Mere 20 years ago. And both of us don't look any different at all. No. Oh, no. Sure oh, no. Not. <laughs> well, she's beautiful, man. This 72 Yanko Nova tribute car, unbelievable. Thanks Thank for you. keeping it alive. Thank man. you, absolutely. Keep the legend alive. That's right. Oh man, the 20th Supercar reunion at Base Band is a blast. It finally cleared off. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs>